hello and welcome back guys so now we are able to add a school and the only thing here is we want to be able to uh, edit and delete then we'll be done with this page so the edit button is exactly like the add only that we want to add edit at the end and we must provide an id so let's go into the code and see what we can do about that so i'm just going to copy this link right here the one for the add and do likewise on the edit so i will do the same thing on the delete like so and then i'll need the closing tag of course so let me move that in copy that paste it here leave a space tab in tab in okay so here i'll put edit but i must put an id as well so id here will come from the row itself so i'll copy this and put it there and this one will just go to id now instead of id you can use something else if you want maybe uh, but in this case id is the ideal thing and exactly the same thing we're going to copy this paste it here except this will be delete like so okay so that does it for the links if I now refresh my page, no errors. If I hover on these guys, I do get edit with an ID at the end, delete with an ID at the end. So we are good to go. So now I just need to go to my controller right here on the add. This is going to be similar. So I will copy the entire add function, come down here and the paste, change this to edit. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay so while we are here on edit i'll leave this as it is then we'll come back to fix this before we go to another table so school that we're going to need um we may need to validate the information yes because we are editing and we won't need to add the date otherwise we will erase the current date so i will remove this let me just mute this for now actually i just remove that no need to add the date so instead of insert this is update and then update requires an id before the data so where do we get the id now right here on edit i'm just going to add id but add it to that just in case uh for some reason because the url can easily be manipulated so in case somebody removes that we won't get an error we'll have this and then all i need to do is make sure it's numeric at this point mm, actually let me put a no like that mm -hmm. and uh yes let's see here mm, update let me just put the id directly right there comma so nothing to fear no need to sanitize it because we are using prepared statements anyway so id post and that's it this is actually it for this part uh -huh. so we are editing just like that and delete is pretty much the same thing i'm just going to copy this paste it here boom and I will change that to delete. Actually, before we do the delete, let's finish with the edit because a few things from here we may need to copy onto the delete. So let me leave it that for now. So schools.edit here, we'll just do edit like so. And errors, errors. Okay, good. Now on this other side, what I need to copy is the add. So schools.add.php, copy everything and create a new file paste save click on the add but don't change it just change the add to edit everything else remains the same and this one is uh, edit school let's change it to that edit school we'll leave these error warnings because we need them in case we don't type correct things 
and then here we'll have the cancel we'll leave that and instead of create we're just going to say save like that mm -hmm. uh, pretty good and that's it really so if i now refresh the page and try to edit this one it's going to say edit school but the only thing missing is that i need to have the old version of the school so that i see what i'm editing so I'll cancel this for now and to bring that up is easier so let's come back to the schools thingy here so instead of instantiating new school here inside the post variable we're going to instantiate it outside so we can use it whether we are posting or not so instantiate it copy and all i need to do here is read and say uh, row mm, let's see rows or row is equal to school and i'll say school uh, where yeah where what am i looking for i'm looking for where the id is equal to that id like that so if everything is good row will be fine and let me duplicate this and add row here oh don't put those double quotes there let's say row like that okay so here if row is an array let's check to see uh, if row like this if it's an actual valid uh, then I'll say row is equal to row zero because it returns I think we should find we should change this so that we have one that returns just one item so where mm, where one Hmm. Okay, I'll see how I can manipulate that. Okay, so if row, if an actual result was returned, which is an array, then row is going to be the first item in the array, and there's the row right there. So I'll leave it at that, and let's go to the view of the edit. And right here, I'm going to say row... Um, in the um, what am I looking for the input right here so the value here is get var hmm okay so this is the thing here that I didn't do in the previous thing so get var here we have a dilemma because we have an item but we still need it to get from the post value once we post so the only way to do this is to provide a default value here. So I'm going to put this like so, put a comma and provide a default value. So this default value is going to be row and uh, what will this be? So this is going to be row, um, wait a minute, row, What's the value school? Yes, school, like this. Uh -huh. Okay, so row school. All right, so back here, I think what I should do is, hmm, because here I'll have a problem again if the result isn't found. Let's test this though. So I'm going to click on edit and edit one. It just didn't work. So row school. Oh, the reason it didn't work is because I added this here as a default value, but I didn't change the actual function. So let me go to functions here, functions, which is inside the core and get var. I will add a default like this, then put uh, empty like that as a value so copy this so if it is set that then return that instead but else instead of returning an empty string we're going to return the default okay 
it's as simple as that so back here uh, if I now refresh you see that I get that default value now if I mess around with the ID here and press that oh okay I didn't mess around with it enough let me put two numbers there so you get this problem here property blah 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 not good so what I would do is I'm going to go to the schools right here and instead of saying if this is found let's do if it's not found then do something about it so if not then I'm just going to say raw is equal to uh, let's see here because the only item I'm getting from there is a school so I'm going to say school and then equal to empty string like this and it should actually be an object like this okay let's see if that works attempt on boo okay that's okay so what I would do instead is create and say we need a better way to solve this problem so say row uh, is equal to object let me do this like this that should solve the problem okay so let me explain why that solves the problem that's if you do this like this you're creating an array but then if you do this you are converting the array to an object so this is how I create a new object an empty object like this in PHP so this becomes an empty object because here it's a boolean it's a false that's why it fails it passes this test but when I get here I change it to an object and then I add a value to that object which is an empty value and so at least it will have an empty value regardless whether we find the thing we're looking for or not but this shouldn't be our issue so let's remove all this it's too cumbersome it's messing up our code so I don't like it so let's leave it as it is here instead let's deal with the issue on the other side in the view so let's go to the edit view here I'll leave it as it is here and then I'll just come to right about here. Yeah, right about here. So I'm just going to say if put some PHP tags if row like this and then full close and then that's the form actually let me just move it outside the form like this copy this come down here outside the form and say end if duplicate this put else and just say no the school was not found or maybe say that school was not found so refresh that school was not found so maybe in here we need a back button as well just so the user can go back like so so back here refresh and not good enough so mm, more break tags okay why is it doing this uh, okay what I would do is instead let me put this inside an h3 tag like so that should sort everything out it's still not working okay if that isn't working let's add a div and let's give it a class of clear fix like so to clear everything and this is too yeah maybe not big enough I think that's okay why isn't this working what's going on okay so div why is it happening like this that was not found else 
clear fix isn't working either what's happening I have no idea here really why this is going on let me try a few break tags nothing wow that's crazy but it's working though attempted to read property online 25 why isn't this working now let's go to schools back here so row where id row row and what's happening here i'm confused attempting to read property hmm okay uh, let's debug a little bit print readable row let's see what we get okay so the data is here that's good okay so that's not the issue so the issue is if I come back to edit here the issue is that row is an array of items and not just one item so what I should do here is just say uh, actually right here I can just put a zero like this that should solve the problem so that I'm getting the first item in the row okay so refresh and everything is fine cancel refresh let me change it to a different number and there I just don't know why this keeps floating to one side even though I don't want it to do that let's see here ah let's see let's see it's because of this card group this is pushing everything to be in line mm, mm, mm. okay so all I need to do is move this a little bit further up here like that and let me move this after the div I don't think that sorts the problem at all <laughs> okay that's crazy yeah what I should move is the else statement as well so out of here and there instead like this okay oops there we go there we go like that okay that should fix it so refresh and there we go goody only problem is things are not in the center anymore but uh, you can fix that if you want let me just add a div real quick here cut that put the div down here move everything over and then let me add a class of uh, actually just a style this time too many classes I'll say text align center that should do the trick back here refresh and there we go so that screw was not found click okay so now we are able to edit console let me click on this one just add a one and see what happens I get an error that's very good let's add an E save and that E was added let me click edit again remove that E and hit save and we are back to normal okay so that is awesome we are doing great let's do the delete in the next video